Three brothers are on a cross-country journey to raise money and awareness for causes close to their hearts. Three brothers, two charities, and 3,500 miles. The co-owners of ABC Home and Commercial Services are giving back with a cross-country bicycle tour. Bobby Rally and Dennis Jenkins are riding for 55 days to raise money for two charities. Three brothers. Three brothers. The Jenkins brothers. A child hope helps a growing orphanage in Haiti and the Moss Pirate Foundation named for Bobby's grandson who died suddenly at the age of 15 months with no answers as to why. Three brothers from Texas just finished an incredible cross-country bike ride. as to what is this classification, what causes this, and is it something that can hopefully someday be prevented. This ride is about parents who have lost children and children who have lost parents. This is a, a journey of love, a love for Christ, a love for children, for those we've lost and those that we want to get off the streets and be in a home, a love for family. <laughs> 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 Thank you for this opportunity for us all to come together to do something that's greater than ourselves, to serve you in a different way than we do in our normal lives. Thank you for bringing us all together for dinner tonight. God and protect everybody over this next two months. Help us all to walk in your light. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 How are you feeling today? Feeling good. I'm ready for it. Ready? Ready to uh, start start the journey with the brothers and create the world into another place. Yeah. Today we're gonna go about 60 miles. How are you feeling about it? Great. I'm excited <laughs> to be behind them and also maybe go in front a little bit. <laughs> Meet them there. Uh, How are you feeling? We're gonna do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's hard. Ready to go? As you'll ever be? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> I just want the boys to be safe, that's all. It's go time. Hugs and kisses. <laughs> Pretend like you like each other. up in beautiful Marble Mount, and here's the town. This is where we stayed, the good old Buffalo Run-In. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. 
What are y'all doing? They toughed it out, and part of the reason they did so well is because Chelsea and I are, are some of the most outstanding cheerleaders that you could ever find in the whole wide world. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Go Go whoop, whoop, whoop. Are you wasting your camera on me? No. No. Where is he? <laughs> You want to keep going? I think you need to go look for them. We could talk the world. <laughs> As we travel down this highway of life, looking for our children as they progress. Nelson on the road again and that's an appropriate song for what we're doing right here live because they are riding across the country for two charities. I wanted to just get a little bit more information about the A Child's Hope. You're building the orphanage now? Yes, we built our first building that will hold 48 and there we're going to be building six more buildings as well. This first building is by chance it's named Moss Hall. So we feel very good about having Moss's eye watching over these children. So far, Marcia, how has it been? Um, well, it's, it's, a, it's a very quick start, but it's been good. I'm here with some of my favorite people. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they're going to kick my butt today, so I'm excited to see how that goes. Dennis, how was it last night having her come in at? What time did she get in? Um, it was it was really late. So I was about 12:30. I, I I had laid down and I you know took care of stuff, went to bed. I was laid down, woke up at 12:30. No Marsha, and so I was a little bit worried. So I called her, and she was like, "Oh no no, I'm I'm fine. I'm about a little over an hour out." <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> find out about a child is the way they handle a flower. I will never forget what Moss did because it was just he and I and there was this passion vine that was on this fence and I pulled the vine down to him and I, I kind of put it in front of him and he looked at it and he just like smushed it on his face. And it was just, there was just something about Moss that he just, he took life like that. He experienced it to its fullest and he like pushed that flower in his face and I remember he had like, he had like stuff all over his nose and I was laughing and everyone on the patio was laughing and I want a reminder to myself to live life the way Moss did even though his life was short he lived it so fast. 
And I just think sometimes we get so caught up in, in other things in life that we forget to do that. Smash our face in it. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta get in it. And get in it. Dive in. I, I really loved that about him, so. Um, the past eight weeks have been incredible. It's been, there have been trying times. There have been happy, funny, sad time. Wait, I don't know where we're going. I don't either. 17 miles. No, 14, 14. 14 miles? 14 to go. 14 miles to go. Obviously, we hope that they'll contribute to our causes, and, but but also to inspire them to you know if they have a cause that they want to do that you know sometimes you got to do something a little bit different. You said why a bike ride? Well, because it's different, and it's not something that anyone just thinks of to wake up and go do with someday. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of big take homes for me. Always, it I was constantly focused on the why, the mission, and my thoughts went to Moss constantly and, and, and what we can do positive that can come out of this and I thought a lot about the children of Haiti and, and the optimism that we have for what a child's hope will do. You know, the other thing that you, you see when you ride across the country, and we, we've talked about this, people are unbelievably kind. It's not just about seeing them pedal and be in great shape, it's seeing them pedal for the causes and riding for those causes and having that determination and them never giving up. Uh, no one ever wanted to quit for real uh, and that was really great. You know, we, we truly do love each other as our best friends, and and you know we, we spend a lot of time together, whether it's our family time together, our business time together. You know, mom, dad, they, they raised us in a manner that said we're going to do something, and we're going to do something good for this world, and we kind of are pretty united in that. And I think the fact that we had three generations of, of family on this trip to have our mom with us representing you know that side of the family, and then Chelsea, the, the younger group. Family, um, it was so unique. I know you had a goal of five hundred thousand yeah. dollars, right? You have a tally yet? We are definitely still raising money, um, and we're not. The number we're not changes done. every day. We're not yeah. done. I mean, this 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 will continue for the next few months, and until we hit our goal, we're going to continue pushing.